Hello, good day. Welcome to Martinez Design. In this video, we are going to capture the camera to focus attention on this building. At the same time, we capture another camera to focus on the gate design and capture the building together. So, try as much as possible to follow her through. At the same time, subscribe to the channel for more details of the project we are bringing to you so thanks so what you need to do go to your you can go to your foundation level or level one so let's take the camera from foundation level so that we are able to capture a bigger picture so click on camera 3d here or at the same time you can go to your view there are two ways to do it go to your view select 3d view and choose camera to from here i want to capture this moment so pick from here pick an angle and indicate that aspect so what does this mean so you can now decide to expand the crop region expand it expand it this kind of Capturing allow you to pick a larger part of the building. So what you do here is that you change this one to something like zero so that the height will jump up with them there. So you see, so you'll be able to adjust and indicate a new way of feeling good. So as you've done this, you can click fits change it to something like okay realistic um let's put realistic and see how it looks can you see okay it's i think i prefer this like this it look more a little bit mature and so if you still want to be adding a lot of things you can add it hey there's error here let's quickly go to elevation and now uh, arrange this error so go to your south elevation from the south elevation something is not right so edit the profile edit the profile click on it then align it to worse good so here you click finish so go back to your camera and see yes see it's been adjusted so it's now aligned with the wall so that is camera one that you have created so you can create this one and rename this say building shot so so the second one you can do is to go back to foundation again so here you pick another camera so camera this one you want to pick it from outside so that you're going to pick everything at once and we want to use bed view in this manner so you follow you use dimensional distance to do that so because of the bell view we want to use target elevation you leave it like this but we want to change the high elevation the high elevation will really be like 5000 just a practical release it you see do the same thing leave the target elevation will really be then do the same thing here is a bell view as high as you can imagine is what you want to do let's say 15000 in the height can you see so it's going to bring your targets to seamless level but what the most important is that you want to capture the moment and still maintain a good so this one this will capture the whole road and everything together so you can now click on your realistic view and check whether what you have done is okay by you 
so if it's okay by you you can zoom in zoom out still adjust the prop to your taste and you've seen it so that is how you capture the moment of camera and at this place you can start sensing your rendering by you rename this one as well to something like okay building sort 2 Two. So you have the building source that you have done and what you do here is to check whether you can render them by we are not going to do rendering here because it's going to take a lot of time but let me just give you some clue on how to render in a only in a rev, a rev it alone before we can go to Fury is here where you can do the render so in the next lesson we're going to do that we are going to use the same uh, the same camera to do the rent free range but here is the normal revit dialog rendering so how do you do you can come to view and choose rendering here or rendering crowd or rendering render gallery so many things you can do from yourself and you get it so how do you do that here now click on render so if you click on render do not render in draft because it's not going to give you a good quality of what you need. Always try as much as possible to render with this uh, medium quality, different quality, as high quality best and so on so forth. You can decide to edit on your own and give you yourself a customized whatsoever you need. So if you click on I, so say you customize copy to customize or something like that so you can rearrange all this one to your taste and give yourself something that's uniquely fitting so i'm not using that now i want to use i use printer i mean yes and you change this uh, dpi so that will give you a very good quality of what you are doing you can change it to much higher or but I always prefer this 300 because of the size you can imagine so the more you go higher in DPI the more the size will increase so I will choose this to so go to the height I think the exterior and activities something like that so you choose a studio if you want to you light a studio or artificial only that's if you have a, all this kind of lights that's that are artificial or you want to combine these two together both the studio sun and artificial you can use them and the sun setting i still indicate the way if you check the former the last tutorial you see that we did a lot of something in the session of so if you want you to if you want to use money or anything single day still day everything is there but if you want to use your phone as you rearrange it the way you want it to be you can decide to change the azimuth and other two things like that so change the foundation to something like level one you can save the setting and apply to what you want to do so that you go back from this then the background uh, we have done the artificial lighting so artificial lighting you can decide to arrange them here change on and off for them F as long as they are here you change the dimming or increase the dimming things like that for if one of one of them what the kind of light you have here so that will enhance your what your rendering when the moment you are rendering them so another one is the style of cloud so the cloud you are using you may use if you have image background you can choose the image background and bring the image from somewhere where you are using them like this just a open this one will be here so if you say it will apply by the time you want to render it will be at the background everything will show so but for that you are not doing that so you go back there click there and say change so what I use most is transparent because I always automatically take my design to Photoshop to go and finalize. And that's why I do the rendering here on the using a Revit dialog. 
so i always do that but sometimes you can decide to use normal color this one will change emphatically and you decide to say okay use normal lighting that will lighten it up a little bit so you can adjust exposure by changing all this to something that will suit you the most beautiful exposure i always found in the Bure engine because the light they have very natural and obvious so that does not mean that most of the render i did on the uh, uh, bicycle on the, my revit itself are not fantastic i did a lot like this one that i brought to you that time i did the work on the revit and everything was okay and perfect so what i mean is this this particular image that I brought that time. It's a customized image. This particular one, I did it in what? In Maya. I mean, in Refit. And I put all this background and everything in Photoshop. So it's been fantastic. Does not matter the rendering pattern, does not matter. What you don't need is the beauty of what you need to do. So as you have done that in this type of color and that's normally used to be the best of what you can do so the best thing for you to do is to test your ranging by swing words by but before then if you want to check all those things you have done whether they are accurate or not you can use the quick let you quick test rendering here let's use medium and 1.9 see how fast it will be so that you test the background of what you have chosen I see it out so take your time to watch it it won't take time to render everything is going to be as quick as possible so be free to watch it and see the way the whole thing goes about so by the fall, you know now everything will be initiated and the rendering dialogue will proceed so look at it and you see how fast it will be can you see so this is about you to focus on behind the so the background is what you just want to like to focus like this you can decide to stop it or continue with this stop say yes if that background is not suitable to you you can increase it a little bit or if you want to change it to red it depends on what you are doing so let's do it again by clicking the render it's going to pick it up and you look at the background and see the way it changes see the artificial light because you have selected artificial lighting and you see you are seeing the blessing of the light here so that is how this works it's a blending of reality realistic and everything so when we do the physical and normal renting we are going to see can you see the background now change it to something like red so you can decide to this one but especially issues transparency so that by the time i'm picking it to photoshop i'm not going to go with seeing it except i want to do a quick learning for a client i use this color background where i put in all the entourage and everything where it's supposed it helps me and guide me on what i created a lot of them. so that is how you work on your rendering parts and you can do a lot together can do a lot with this uh, this particular so you just change them back to i if you want to do the rendering test it on yourself after you have watched all the videos and do know how you created all this because i created all this thing from small so you have follow you should follow this series one after the other before i combine all together and later give to for you to watch so always follow us subscribe to our channel and so that i'll be able to bring in bring out a daily